I wrote this song uh, when the band I'm in was recording our last album. She said we were going inside at that time, you know, and that's the name of my new single, is Going Inside, and that's what that song was about, is her telling me that it was all right, you know.
distance still occupied Don't you forget Different colors, different shades Over each mistake we made I took the blame Directionless, all plain to see A loaded gun won't set you free
Thank you. After all, it's, it's really sweet of you all to let me sit down and play. Thank you! This song is uh, by Arya and it means a lot to me. I'm 
Ich werde es jetzt schon Nickel D, the saddest of all keys.
It's a ripoff of T-Rex, and it's and it's and it's that 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 David Bowie was the intro. This is what it's a ripoff of. The the uh, this, you know how it goes. Uh, That's a rip off of T-Rex. It's a major seven chord. And, uh, and, and, and here, and here, who's the T-Rex on The song called Rip Off, so I thought that was interesting. You know? <laughs> now, can I please do one of my own songs? Yeah! Yeah! Four, so. If this was a month from now, you'd be asking for this song. <laughs> my album's been out yet. I'm
Shannon song is the crowd pleaser, and the Lou Reed song isn't isn't really a crowd pleaser. You know, more of you know who Lou Reed is than Del Shannon. Is. So I'll do the Del Shannon song. Good, good advice. Good advice. Okay. 
They're very similar, though. I'm convinced that Lou Reed was ripping off the Dale Shannon song when he wrote his song. I know it. I know it. Want me to play the first verse and the first chorus of the Lou Reed song just so you can understand that it's in the same vicinity? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> just a perfect day. Drinks and grams in the park. Square. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
you were there. Okay, one person you were there. And and uh, and and uh, I did this song, and I would say that that was the quintessential version of this song. It's not really the whole song. It's just a. It feels different to be on stage by myself. I'm not hearing the noise yet. Yeah.
kind. You're my kind. You always make me feel like a brutish in my love all the time. It always seems to be though you're alive. That you mistake for pain Without you Thank you um, well, I'll do one more song for two Castles are made of sand Play one I can't remember it, so... It was, 20, it was like 30 fucking... 32 years ago? I can't remember. <laughs> What's that? Uh, this is my last song. If you guys want more scream, I'll fucking stay out here. We'll, we'll, we'll ask him to turn up the fucking PA system. And even while I'm DeFranco's playing, I don't give a fuck. I'll stay up here and I'll keep playing for you. <laughs> This song is, uh, it's, 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 it's on an unreleased CD that I only gave to like 10 people, but, um, but I'll, I'll make it available to you one way or another, whether it's through blue legs or through the fucking computer or whatever, well, I'll make yeah. it back.
did Bad Brains record a live album here? Yeah! They did, huh? So fuck, I'll do, I'll do that song. Yeah. It's really not rehearsed, but... Yeah. I just remembered that.
Cosmos, you said, so, you so, just, that's what I was thinking of. I wish I could do it for you. Phelan is one of my favorite people who I can I can't do a song by him because his songs have 20 people playing. It's just like, You know, he died at the same time as, as I was born again. And not born again in the Christian sense of the word, but I was born again as, as far as I had pretty much disintegrated and died. And I was brought back to life. And at that time, I was told that Fela Kuti died. And, and uh, it really made me sad. But I had this nice conversation with a, with a black man who was sitting at a, at a uh, bus stop. And, and he showed me some stuff that I could do with my eyes, where I would see the sun even if my eyes were closed. I would put my hand up to my eyes, and I would see the sun. He showed me how to do it, this, this wonderful black man, and who's, who's native, you know, whose family members in the past were from Africa. But he was sitting on Hollywood Boulevard in Coanga, and, uh, and he made me very happy. And it was the day that, Fela, that I found out Fela Kuti had died, and... Uh, what song are we going to do? He was a wonderful man though, and I thank him. And, uh, and uh, I thank Fela Kuti for fighting the fight that didn't get him anywhere, you know? But to me, that's the most beautiful kinds of fights to fight, is the fights that don't get you anywhere, you know? Because if you believe in it strongly, that creates more of a place than people who fight fights and win. Because winning isn't what it's about living, you know? To me, it's about... It's about living and fighting a fight that you can never win, but then other people will see you fighting that fight. Maybe one person out there fucking knows that I was fighting for that fight, you know, or the fellow group who was fighting for that fight and lose by that fight. And one person is all that we need, you know. So. Yeah. Uh, here we go. This is the first song I wrote three years ago when I started writing songs. You. Oh, what the fuck, I'm going to play two songs. This is one of the last songs I wrote when I was living at this fucking house that I had no business in. Me.
Okay. Let me turn this one down a half step. Let me use my phone. I don't know what I can do down a whole step. So I'm just going to wait for Louis. I'm just going to improvise for you. Oh 